Hey guys, I first wanted to say a huge thank you for purchasing our presets and for supporting us. I cannot wait to see the photos you end up editing. Make sure over on Instagram, use the hashtag FTN presets so I can check out all your edits. But first, I feel like I need to show you how to use them. So the first thing I'll show you is how to install your presets. You need to go in, open up Lightroom. Okay, and once Lightroom is open, you need to come up here and click develop. And then over on the left, you'll see the word presets. If you click the plus sign and import presets, you then need to find the file that you downloaded that's called travel collection desktop presets and open that up. And then here are all the presets. So you need to highlight those, click import, and then you're done. So then if you come back over to the left and see presets, under presets, you'll now see the travel collection desktop presets. And if you open that, here are all the presets. So now I'm going to show you how to edit with them. So what I do first is before I actually put any preset onto my photo, I come over here to the right and click this button here. And then under aspect, under original, click four by five. So this makes your photo the right size for Instagram. So if you go up and down, or you can go in and out, you can choose what you want your photo to look like. So I'm just going to size it up like this click done. Okay. So now that the photo is sized up for Instagram, you can now head over to the presets. And if you hover over them, it actually gives you a preview of what the photo will look like with that preset on. So you can hover over each one and see which one you think looks the best. And I really liked food on this one. So if you click it, then you're done. So that's what it looked like before. And that's what it looked like after. So let's go ahead and edit another photo. So I'll go to the next one. This is another photo in Egypt. So again, we need to change the size for Instagram. And then we can hover over and have a look at what I think looks best. So I think for this photo, I like selfie, but as you can see, it's a little bit dark. So if your photos are ever a little bit too dark or a little bit too light, you can come over to exposure. And if you bring it up, it goes lighter. And if it goes down, it goes darker. So I'm going to bring it up. And now I think that looks quite good. So this is the before and this is the after. So now I'll go ahead and edit another photo. So let's do one here in Greece. So again, we need to make it a good size for Instagram. Let's go like that. And then let's choose a preset, which it was taken in Greece. So Greece does look quite nice on it. Let's see here. All right, so let's say I want to use Turkey, but as you can see, it's quite blue. So the other thing that I like to change besides just exposure, again, I'll bring that up a little bit is temperature. So if you bring temperature up a little bit, as you can see, it gets rid of a lot of that blue and makes it more of like that sunset time. Bring the exposure up a little bit and then let's show you before and after. But just say if I didn't want to use that preset, I could then go and use maybe just say Iceland. Again, it's quite blue. So if you bring up the temperature, bring up the exposure and that's the before and after. So I feel like these are the two things I always change is just exposure and temperature. And then you can use a preset on basically every photo. Let's try Philippines, bring up the exposure. Let's bring up the temperature. There's a before and after. Let's try selfie. So again, selfie is a little bit dark. Let's bring up the exposure. And this again, if you, if you like that look, you can do that. Or again, you can change it. So if you want a bit more blue, you could go turn the temperature down. If you want more yellow, you bring the temperature up. And there's a before and after. Let's see another one that we can show you. Okay. What about a photo that's inside? So again, let's change the size for Instagram. And then again, drone food, food looks quite nice. Grease again, it's quite yellow, but if I wanted to use grease, you could always bring the temperature down and it looks a little bit more like what it looked like when the photo was taken. So I think that looks quite nice. This is Iceland. Iceland looks quite cool. Philippines, again, 
I would bring the exposure up a little bit and then maybe bring the temperature down just a little bit so I don't look so orange. And there's that for and after using Philippines. What about selfie? Again, it's a little bit dark, but all you need to do is bring up the exposure a little bit. That looks quite cool. I really like that one. And the last one's turkey. So again, I'll just bring up the exposure a little bit. And there's before and after of turkey. And so the final thing is how to export your photo. So once you have your photo edited, you just come up to File, Export, and then all you need to do is make sure it's saved as a JPEG, and then click Export, and you are done. So now it is right there on my desktop, and there is my picture. So then you can airdrop it to your phone if you want to put it on Instagram, or you can upload it to your blog, or upload it to Facebook, whatever you want to do with it. But um, yeah. So I hope you guys found that helpful. If you have any more questions, just send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always on there, happy to help. When you do upload a photo using our preset, make sure you use hashtag FTN preset so I can see them. And it would be so helpful if you left a review, I'll leave a link below. But yeah, thanks so much guys and happy editing.